Hello, you're connected to KTWR. I'm Sandy, and you're listening to a test broadcast of KTWR's DRM transmitter. I'm here with Kelly today, and we get to start sharing a Christmas celebration with you. And we know that right now, celebrating isn't the easiest thing. COVID-19 is still happening, and there's a lot of challenges that come with that as far as our social life goes and our health goes. Uh, we just want to know, you know, how are you celebrating differently this year? This year, I know that my husband and I are waiting until after the main Christmas holiday, so after December 25th, to go and visit a lot of our older relatives. And usually... We're going to be um, um, hopping hopping from, like, house to house house, and at the same time just being really really careful. careful. So you're really getting getting an extended extended Christmas. Christmas. Yes, I am. (laughs) It's almost a little bit more celebration this year just because we're having to be so careful. And I know a lot of our listeners aren't able to travel outside like a certain area. So I would suggest make it a point to leave some nice gifts for the people just in your immediate area. You might not know your neighbors very well, but this is a great time to get to know them and taking care to like keep everyone healthy. Just little surprises are a great way to celebrate. Here's Andrew, Andrew Peterson, Peterson with Wild Shepherds, Shepherds Watch. Watch. Wild Shepherds watch their flock by night, all seated on the ground. An angel of the Lord came down, glory shone around. Fear not, for mighty dread had seized their troubled mind. Nutrition Dr. Renee Bravo encourages us to maintain joy in our life. Sometimes it's not the challenge that you face, but your reaction to it that determines your outcome. The messages that I try to leave with my little patients and their families as they come into the office, please don't let this time of epidemic pandemic or illness 
Take away the joy of having children, of living your life, of going about your daily business that you need to do. Wear your mask, social distance, but ultimately understand that like all processes, this will go away. This will actually cease, and things will be fine. We just need to go through this at this time. And and I think, think, you know, with God's blessing and provision, we will be fine again. That's pediatrician Dr. Rene Bravo. For more encouragement during difficult times, visit TWR360.org keyword COVID-19. Occur with Winter Wonderland. Now, that is an old U.S. Christmas classic, but for half the globe, they're not getting anything like snowy weather. It's interesting how our location and the weather inform our tradition. And I've lived in different places in the U.S. where sometimes there's snow, sometimes there isn't, but I have some um, some snowy memories of Christmas, and also not snowy. Yeah, now both our families do celebrate Christmas. So I guess what is one of your favorite childhood memories, Kelly? With, with or without, without snow. snow. I think it's, I think just, it's just the traditions, the traditions that, have that have stayed the same. same. Oh, the, same the same cookies, cookies the same Christmas, Christmas movies, movies, the same, same uh, uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve service. service. Just <laughs> the blur. Blur. Which Christmas was that? that? Because, because I, know I know that that, that tradition... tradition. Nothing because you do have a you do have a No, the people who are not going to be able to be with their older relatives this year because they either live in assisted living and there's special restrictions on that, or as I said before, um, some people just cannot travel out of a certain radius. So um, that's a, a huge blessing, and those are memories that even if you can't go anywhere this year, those are memories you can call upon. So we hope that you take time to remember this season, your family, your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors. Um, just remember them in prayer, even if you can't be with them face-to-face. So today we are continuing our drama series on the life of Jesus. Today's episode is Jesus and Beelzebub. But first, here's a song by We Are Messengers. Ooh. 
Nothing can hold us back. Nothing can tear us apart. Not life, not death. Not the in between. This is just the start. Don't let them keep you down. Don't let them push you out. We were made to live. To be fierce like lions. Love and forgive. Everyone is going to him for answers. Do you know what he's been doing? 
Yes, of course. He has repeatedly challenged our laws, killing people on the Sabbath. He even called us hypocrites. We must find a way to get rid of him. He is a threat and will cause our authority to collapse if we allow him to continue. Then they brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and Jesus healed him so that he could both talk and see. All the people were astonished. It is only by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined. And every city or household divided against itself will not stand. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then can this kingdom stand? The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The Lord Jesus did a lot of good on the Sabbath. He healed many who were in need. The Pharisees were jealous of his popularity, and so they spread lies about him and persecuted him. All this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I have chosen, the one I love, and whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him, and he will proclaim justice to the nations. The Lord Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of heaven to the Spirit of God. He said, Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. The Spirit gives life. The flesh cannot do nothing. The words that I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Why is there authority in what the Lord Jesus said? Here is what Jesus had to say about his authority. But if by the Spirit of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. I believe, but how can I know for sure that I am saved? Romans chapter 10 verse 9 tells us, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Friend, if you're willing to accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior, please pray the following prayer with us now. Dear God, Lord of the universe, I thank you for loving me, and I thank Jesus for dying for me on the cross. Please forgive me my sins and become the Lord of my life. I want to commit my entire life to you for you to take charge of. Grant me eternal life and may the Holy Spirit dwell in my heart forever. I ask and pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. You're listening to a test broadcast of our DRM transmitter. We would appreciate receiving a reception report and you can email us at asiafeedback at twr.org. Or you can send us your reception report to TWR, P.O. Box 6095, Marizo, Guam, 96916, USA. So, I have a serious question for us. Kelly, have you ever been accused of doing something that you didn't do? See, here's the thing. I can remember the feeling of being indignant because I didn't do what you said I was doing or I didn't do what you said I did. Um, I'm having a hard time recalling an actual incident, but I do remember just the indignation and how it did not feel right to be accused of something that I didn't do. How dare you? How dare you? And it it makes me think of of Jesus and how he was accused and mocked and ridiculed for so many things he never even did, yet he took it all with grace, and that's not something that – is my natural inclination to do. He took it all with grace, and he was still able to make points 
um, especially in the story we just listened to, able to make points to his accusers that got them thinking a little bit more about God and how powerful he really is and who Jesus really is. Yeah. But you, Sovereign Lord, help me for your name's sake. Out of the goodness of your love, deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. Lonnie Berger, author of Every Man a Warrior. Psalm 109, 21-22 has been a favorite passage when I feel in crisis. But you, Sovereign Lord, help me for your name's sake. Out of the goodness of your love, deliver me, for I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. Do these phrases resonate with you? The coronavirus has caused me and many others, like David who wrote this psalm, to run to God for help in life's devastating problems. Don't be overwhelmed. Talk to God. Pour out your heart to Him. He wants to carry these burdens for you as you learn to walk with Him as His child. Every Man a Warrior is a ministry of TWR. Not in a castle like you think, no. Golden slippers on his feet. The king is born tonight. He's just a stable to call home, but he doesn't even feel alone. The king is born tonight. I'd like to let you know we have ministry resources available at twr360.org. If you speak another language in addition to English, it is possible you'll find it on twr360.org. You can also download the free TWR360 app for Apple or Android. You can watch great videos like the Jesus film, listen to a music stream, or read the Bible, all from TWR360. Yeah. 
lack of my persistence Feel less than half as close as I want to be Ain't the first time that you open your eyes Did you realize that you were too much to be dealing with this breath? Rest your lips Did you know that it would change this world forever And the first time that you open your eyes with I Celebrate the Day. Thank you so much for joining with Kelly and I today. And don't forget, during this season, which is a joyful one, but we still are facing a lot of difficulties, to look with hope and expectation ahead because we have a God who loves us and cares for us deeply and each and every day. Please let us know what you think of our program today. You can email us at asiafeedback at twr.org or write to us at TWR PO Box 6095, Mariso Guam, 96916, USA. I'm Kelly, and Merry Christmas. Thank you for listening to this special test broadcast from KTWR Guam on 13800 kilohertz in the 22-meter band. This English broadcast can be heard on this day from 1026 to 1057 UTC. We would appreciate hearing from you. Please let us know how well you received the program and if you enjoyed the broadcast. If you would like a QSL verification card, you can send a reception report to KTWR PO Box 6095, Marizo, Guam, 96916, USA. Or send an email to asiafeedback at twr.org. Speaking hope to the world, this is KTWR, Aganya, Guam.